Como esta amigos? <sighs> Spanish again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't know yet. It seems intermittent. Ah, uh, yeah. We're doing American stuff. Hey, y'all. <laughs> there, that might be. Uh, I actually say y'all quite often. It's true. But hi, y'all. <laughs> uh, uh, Addy. Uh, Whiskey Heath is one headquarters right here in Fort McMurray, Alberta. Yep. And you could be doing anything in the world. Thanks for joining us, folks. And not murdering people, right? Yeah. Now. You know, you could do that too. We do not suggest it or condone that. That's true. We do condone drinking, though. Yeah. yeah. Whiskey is for sharing. <laughs> oh, it is. This seems to have shared something. This is a weird, weird thing. Yeah, you want to pour it and then I'll tell us about it? Yep, this okay. is a weird, 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 weird thing, I'm telling you. I love the color on it already. Oh man, this is odd. This is what I would call odd. Ooh, I can smell it already. And you might notice this is bourbon, or whiskey, or American something. Well, I'll tell you what it is. Single malt. <laughs> It's a lost lantern shining a light on the independent spirit. Very American. This is edition number one, American vatted malt whiskey. Vatted malt. So whiskey's thrown in a vat. Correct. This cool. is a, a marriage of American single malts from Balcones. Balcones? Love Balcones. it. Already. Copperworks, Santa oh. Fe Spirits. Okay. Triple Eight, Virginia Distillery Virginia. Co. Virginia and westward distilleries. Beautiful. 52.5% wow. alcohol by volume. I wouldn't have guessed that by the nose. Really? Yeah. Very pleasant. Ooh, that doesn't smell nice. So, an American independent bottler, Lost Lantern sources rare and special whiskeys from distilleries across the United States. Mm. We shine a light on these discoveries through our unique blends and our meticulously curated lineup of single casks. American Vatted Malt Edition, number one. Number one. Number one. You could be any number, choose to be number one. <laughs> if you ain't first, you're last. Uh, <laughs> we brought together the makers of six of the best American single malts from across the country and collaboratively created this 12 barrel blend over the course of a single day. Wow, no way. <laughs> Our American Vatted okay. Malt showcases the flavor of American single malt in all its diversity. Okay. Each cask used in this blend is a reflection of its place and the people who made it. Nice. Together, they became a single harmonious spirit. Distilled by Balcones Distilleries out of Waco, Texas. Beautiful. Copperworks Distillery Co. out of Seattle, Washington. Nice. Santa Fe Spirits out of Santa Fe, New Mexico. Okay. Triple Eight Distillery out of Nantucket, Massachusetts? We're going to say Massachusetts. I don't know state codes. M.A. <laughs> <laughs> and then Virginia Distillery Co. in hey. some shockingly Lovingston, Virginia. Beautiful. And then Westward Whiskey, Portland, Oregon. I think we've done Westward before. Westward. We had a we uh, uh, Keg before. and Cork exclusive Westward that we did before we started the show that we drank together. That's true. We did that as well. All of this is bottled by Virginia Distillery Co. in Lovingston, Virginia for Lost Lantern Spirits, okay. aged in oak at least two years. So that's where this bottle came from, most likely, right? Made from 100% malted barley, non-chill filtered. Okay. I so, am in. Right. I am in. And I'm I like you, all of those things. Yeah, and you might wonder, like, what the hell is going on here? The most random assortment of nonsense, right? Well, this is kind of a random assortment of nonsense. Where'd you get it, Josh? That smells really good. And this is also a random assortment of nonsense that I stumbled upon in Edmonton. Uh, a little place called ABC. Genius marketing. <laughs> Those are all letters in the alphabet. ABC. In fact, I think they're the first three. I bet you. I, I bet know. you they're the first three. Canadian alphabet anyway. <laughs> yeah. I was like, there's a Lechegg there. And you, you all will know why I'm attracted to this Lechegg. I love Lechegg. Beautiful, gorgeous label. Pete's Beast. Batch strength, like it says, intensely peated. <laughs> of course, I'm into that. It tastes like an old shoe. That's what I want. And I seen this, and I was like, "This is the weirdest 
bourbon-y, single malty, American-y whiskey thing that I know of at this time. Did and it was found it? Yeah. And then we lost it. Yeah. Kind of lost in the woods. This is about as lost as anyone could be. <laughs> Fuck. Now we just gotta... We gotta find a lantern before it gets dark. <laughs> yeah, we better hurry. Let's get out of here. Right. Josh, I think I found it. Where? Over here. Oh! Over here. I see it. Here. I see it. Marco. There's a lot of prickly bushes. <laughs> Look at that. We found our lost lantern. Yeah, we did lose it. And it's exclusive to them. So it was lost and then found, as you can clearly see, or will clearly see. So I was like, I was attracted to it. And then it's got all these crazy distilleries on there, man. So I was like, what the hell is this place that I found here? I'm interested. I'm smelling it, and it smells. Doesn't it smell delightful. amazing? Yeah. Stick around to the end, too, folks. Oh yeah, I got something very special to share about this one. But yeah, doesn't it smell pleasant? Like it really does. Beautiful, light, bright. So it says tropical kind 50, of fruits. So Fifty-two point five. Did you say kiwis? Yeah. Kiwi and mango type of fruits, man. Yeah, 52.5. It smells. Uh, I would way say, lighter. Yeah, like I got uh, water here in my new little thingies thing it's thing and, uh, yeah and i don't even the smell would never dictate adding water meaning to anyway because we have a bottle to play with but well, shall we yeah I'm how are how are you feeling about the nose excited is how yeah me too me too man <sighs> multi goodness yeah it's multi and it's got a little bit of brashness there but it's it's all this sweet fruits just tangled around man i'm gonna give this a little tasty oh, yeah. to it Mmm. Man, that's nice. A little bit heavier in the mouth than the nose would um, imply. Uh, I think water would bring this up a notch, not drown it. That's sweeter than I thought it was. Isn't it be. sweet now, folks? I can't believe that I love this because I love this and it's sweet. It's not a sickly sweetness to me at all. No, but it's a beautiful malty caramely sweetness going on here it's got that like syrup and bread pudding oh man so bread pudding nailed it nailed it that's bread pudding right there that's, that's fucking fascinating. delicious man <laughs> all right a little touch of water just to cut it see how that does drop drop drip drop drip drop drip mm. that's lovely i heard someone say or someone asked me what my opinion was, and that's before I had opened this, and they said they had heard some negative reviews. So I made it a point not to read any reviews, um, not one thing. And uh, I can see how like a hardcore bourbon drinker might not like this because it doesn't taste like every other fucking bourbon in the world, but this tastes very unique. I almost feel lovely. like that if I were to try this, I wouldn't like if i tried this blind i don't know if i would know if this was bourbon yeah it's not bourbon though right yeah it's vatted malt we keep saying bourbon because it's from america yeah, it's our mistake it's bourbony but it's it's single malt and it tastes like malt and that's probably why a bourbon drinker wouldn't like it but this is a scotch drinkers american single malt right here that's pretty good <laughs> yeah it yeah. reminds me a little bit. vatted malt of singles. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's a bunch of single yeah. malts thrown in a vat for however fucking long a day. Two years. Oh, I thought, oh, the recipe was a day, right? They figured it out yeah, a day, okay. yeah, and they aged it for that two more years on top of all the aging they had already done. So right? single malts thrown in a vat, thrown in a bottle, delicious. Yeah, yeah. man, Lost Lantern. Hmm. Glad we found you. I might actually grab a second bottle of this to back up. Uh, I'm gonna grab my first. Yeah, it's edition number one. Uh, this will go on the bar to share. So I would love to have one. And again, exclusive to Edmonton. So very cool. Yeah, we'll put the link up or something or whatever. Oh, yeah, description or something. Oh yeah. Yeah, we do things like that. Well, um, I'm just tasting it with water. That's pretty good. That's delicious. No, you can get the um, 
the Texas vibes in there, that little brashness in the back. That like touch of mesquite. Like, yeah, 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 totally. Branch. Totally. That's what I get from those Texas uh, whiskeys. Well, everyone I talk to says Balcones specifically. I just say because it's the first one that's mentioned. I love Texas. Balcones. They got like a barbecue smokiness to it. There's yeah. something, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. they do with yeah. their barrel program, it's really bringing out that love it. Texas mesquite smoky barbecue flavor. This is delightful. Mm hmm. I feel like this. Uh, this is not going to last long, and I'm going to have to get a few more. Yep, that's good. Cool. Well, I can't wait to share this. Let's go drink some more then. Okay. All right. Well, cheers, Lost Lantern. Lost Lantern. Cheers to Balcones, Copperworks, Santa Fe, Triple Eight, Virginia, and Westward Whiskey. Yeah. ABC Liquor brought it in. Right on. Yeah. Well done. Cheers yeah. to all of them. Cheers to you, homie. Cheers, Doc. Cheers, cheers to all. you, heathens. We'll catch you later. Yeah, we will. I knew you'd love that. No, I really do. I'm shocked because that's sweet, man. But like, that's so good. Well, I feel like I'm going to go on their website uh, and probably order one right now. And yeah. luckily, I think we get a 10% discount. Oh, hold on. Just oh. watching this video. <sighs> Y'all can get 10% off this bottle. Go online or on their store and enter oh. uh, this code. That's our Lantern special code. 10. Lantern 10. For 10% off. Yeah. yeah. Pretty... Uh, Pretty convenient code. Lantern, 10% off. <laughs> it's very simple. Just for being a whiskey heathen. Yeah, so yep. uh, yeah, check that out. Check it out, folks. Definitely. Now I want to learn more about Lost Lantern as an independent bottler. I'm going to go and actually grab a bottle of this for 10% off right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go do that. Okay. Right. See ya. Bye.